So the question was asked to me, what TV should I buy? And um, I was kind of stumped because there's so many TVs out there. We got Smart, they got Plasma, they got LCD, LED, you got OLED, MOLED. We have quite a bit of choices out there for the um, television buyer. Hi, I'm Steve Fung. You're watching the Mobile One Tech Talk Daily. And before we go any further, I think we should thank our sponsor, Mobile One, who's located on Broad Street in Bridgetown. And they do actually have a quite a few televisions in there as well. So you guys should go give them a check out if you are in the market for a TV. Let's get started. So let's start with brands. From friends of mine that work in the, uh, the industry of selling televisions, I mean, they have experience handling them quite a bit. They give me a you know, top three TVs that you should really look out for. I'm going to start with number three. Number three would be Sony. Sony offers some very nice, very thin, some very pretty looking televisions. I said pretty because they're really nice to look at. And they, are, um, they are quite nice. The colors tend to be a bit muted within the screen itself and they don't offer quite that sharpness that you will get from our top two contenders. So then number two, we're going to move on to LG. LG, they are a Korean manufacturer and their televisions are actually quite nicely priced and they look really good in terms of colors and contrast but they don't quite beat out Samsung who is our number one. Samsung on their AMOLED technology, their OLED technology is very beautiful. Quite like their phones, they have a very high vibrance and a very high contrast ratio. The blacks on there are true, you really do get that real cinema hit, really dark, really vibrant. I'm repeating myself, it's just really really good to look at. You should really really get a great experience from a Samsung television when it comes to screen color and quality and as well features. Um, in terms of features, the Samsung Smart TVs are on top. They have Skype, they have motion controls, voice controls, vibrance. Um, they offer quite a bit of settings if along the lines of privacy, saturation. You get a lot more from your Smart TV or from your Samsung TV in general than you get from other TVs. They have a lot of energy saving features. They are really on top when it comes to the software involved. LG is second in that regard. They're actually quite good in their software as well. Alternatively, they're much cheaper than the Samsung variant. And quite honestly, when you weigh the two next to each other, if you really are for price and performance, the LGs are number one for me. Um, Sony, they have nice software as well, but they're just not quite up there with the other two contenders. So realistically, if you are a person um, and you have a lot of Sony appliances in your house, you have a PlayStation, you have a Sony sound system, the Bravia, which is Sony's brand, is actually the best product for you. It actually integrates with your PS3 when you turn off your, tele your turn off your system from your remote, your entertainment system. Everything goes off at the same time with one single remote, including the PS3 and the TV and the speakers. So if it fits into your Sony ecosystem, that may be the best buy for you. Samsung, they offer the best software, the best screen, and the best experience outside of the traditional television experience. Meaning you can play games directly on there, you can chat on Skype, you can do quite a lot with the software Samsung has included in their smart TVs. So if you really can afford a Samsung smart TV, they range from 32, 32 all the way up to 60, go for it. For me, LG, they offer a good balance of price, performance, and software performance. The screens aren't as quite as vibrant as the Samsung screens, but that goes back to the age-old argument of iPhone versus Galaxy. Whereas the iPhone screens tend to have more true colors, meaning they're more realistic. And the Samsung screens on phones tend to have a lot of vibrancy and a high contrast ratio, which doesn't really match up reality, but it looks really good. Same thing here with LG, who makes the iPhone screen, and Samsung, who makes the Galaxy screens. So you have a choice of which um, type of viewing experience you want. But when it comes down to it, price, the performance, LG is the winner for me in my category. So if you're on a budget and you want something really good, LG. If you don't care, you could afford whatever, go Samsung. And if you really already have a, a Sony setup, Sony ecosystem, the Bravia fits nicely into your setup. Whatever television you decide to get, make sure you tune in Mondays at 6.15 a.m. to see me on Morning Barbados doing the world of technology. This is Steve Fung. You're watching the Mobile One Tech Talk Daily. And thanks for watching. See you tomorrow, guys.